renewable sources of energy we are going to talk about renewable sources of energy today look at this this is a list of renewable sources of energy now first one is solar energy today we are going to focus on solar energy how can we define solar energy if you are told that what is solar energy then how do you write about this very simple the energy obtained from the sun which is in the main which is mainly in the form of heat and light energy is called solar energy energy obtained from the sun in the form of what heat and light energy but we have to be very careful about this also actually sun releases he, uh, energy in three different forms one is heat energy another is light energy another is ultraviolet rays but almost all the ultraviolet rays about 99% of the ultraviolet rays are absorbed in atmosphere and that's why it won't come up to the earth surface and it is very harmful and dangerous also and that's why we can say that we get solar energy in the form of heat and light energy okay after the solar energy now if you are told to write some devices which works on solar energy i mean to say which utilize solar energy then what can you say you can uh, you have to give examples number 1 solar cooker number 2 solar water heater number 3 solar furnace number 4 solar power plant you can say solar heater solar water heater uh, solar cooker solar furnace and solar power point in this way we can give some examples Now, I want to tell you about them. Each and every about them. Look at this. What is solar cooker? If you are told what is solar cooker and how it works, then you can say this way. Uh, I want to make a diagram also. Look at this. Solar cooker is somewhat box-like. It is somewhat box-like this, and. there is a lid like structure like this and it is designed in such a way that solar heat energy is reflected into it and a a utensil is placed inside this solar cooker and when sunlight comes and strike on the surface of this reflector then it will be reflected back to it will be reflected to this utensil and this way solar heat energy is reflected to this utensil and utensil becomes hot and we can cook food and actually this is the reflector which looks like the lid of the solar cooker and this box like and it is covered actually it is covered with glass and inside the glass there is utensil this way solar heat energy is utilized in cooking purpose but uh, there is limitation for this we must have sun in the sky to use this and we have to go to open place that's why there are some limitation but this is the working principle of solar cooker now solar water heater is a device which when gets solar heat energy uh, it is utilized to heat water there are pipe like structure in solar water heater and heat energy when enters into this then it directly absorbed by water and water is heated and heated water is collected in a tank provided with the solar water heater and this is utilized for different purpose in our houses and this solar water heater is usually kept at the top of the building i think you have seen this Now let's talk about solar furnace. What is it? Solar furnace. It consists of a concave base. Look at this. This is huge base, very big base, and its inner surface is in its inner surface mirror is attached. Hundreds of mirrors are attached in it. It's very huge. And this concave surface, and ah. Uh, actually solar energy when solar heat energy comes and strike on this 
mirror mirror on the surface of mirror then mirror reflects it back and it is arranged and it is made in such a way that the reflected heat energy comes to a point is collected at a point this way and lot of heat energy reflected back by this mirror is when collected to a point then what happens temperature of this point becomes very high and when temperature becomes very high it exceeds 1000 2000 3000 degrees celsius also at this temperature metal can also be melted and this is the working of what solar furnace in short cut we can say that it consists of a concave base uh, on the surface of this base many mirrors are attached and these mirrors reflect solar heat energy to a point and at that point we can uh, get heat energy temperature becomes very high we can melt even the metal this way this solar furnace works Talk about solar power plant power plant means what the center in which electrical energy is generated and how electrical energy is generated in solar power plant there are two types of solar power plant one is called th solar thermal power plant and i am talking about solar thermal power plant in solar thermal power plant solar energy is used to heat water and water converts to steam and high temperature steam is then passed through pipeline and this high uh, high speed steam is used to turn the turbine and turbine runs generator and electrical energy is generated in generator this way solar power plant works now i told uh, four different uh, devices which are based on solar energy now there are some other also let's talk about solar cell what is it it is a device which converts light energy into electrical energy and is made up of thin layer of silicon or gallium they are solar cell it converts what light energy of sun into electrical energy and there is another point also we have to remember this what is solar panel the group of solar cells is called solar panel solar cells are arranged in such a way that they produce electrical energy and is collected and high amount of electrical energy can be obtained from solar panel the solar cell and solar panel also i told you uh, till now what i told you is a solar energy and devices based on solar energy and lastly two devices what are they solar cell and solar panel this much for today we'll meet in another class